Good evening, brother Matthew. You are welcome, Johnson. What brings you to my house today? I'm so sorry for coming without informing you. I'm just coming from Fit's house now. Okay, is there a problem with Fate? She already called me to tell me there won't be any choir rehearsal today for the choristers due to the pastor's meeting. I'm not here because of that. I want to inquire if what I heard is true. What did you hear? She told me you have concluded on starting a youth rally in two weeks' time. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Is there a problem with that? But Matthew, how could you make such arrangements without my knowledge? Fate is not supposed to be the first person to hear about it. It should have been our plan. Is that why you came all the way from your house to ask me? You are a funny person, Johnson. I don't mean to disrespect you, Matthew. I mean, you are the youth president. You have every right to make decisions concerning the youth. Exactly. So why are you complaining? But I am also the assistant youth president. You should have discussed it with me first. Then, after we come to a conclusion, we can hold a meeting to let the others know about it. You have nothing to say, Johnson. Just like you said earlier, I'm the youth president. I have every right to make decisions. You are wrong. Please, next time, just let me know. Mom, why did you stop me from going out? You said you want to talk to me, but so far, you have not said anything. What do you want me to say? You should know I am only trying to stop you from going out. But why? I already told you where I'm going to. I promise I won't stay too long. I will return home soon. I am not really happy that you are going to see Cassandra and Christabel. But why? They are my good friends. The last time I went to visit them, I didn't stay long because I went to market. I don't like seeing those girls with you. Don't ask me why because I don't know. Is it because they no longer do the things of God like before? Mom, you know it is wrong to judge. It doesn't mean they don't love God. I am not saying they don't love God. By the way, why are you always the only one to visit them? When did they ever visit you in this house? I would have visit when you don't make them comfortable. I prefer to always go there and see them. Hopefully, they will start doing God's work. Just be careful, I cannot stop you from going out. You are no longer the little fit that I used to control. Exactly, that is what I have been trying to tell you. Trust me mom, I will never do anything to go against you or God. I am very careful in everything I do. It's okay, be home early. Okay. I am here, what is it? Why are you frowning your face now? Don't tell me you are still angry with me. Sit down, let's talk. What you want to say, better be reasonable. Else, I will leave this place and you better be snappy. Is this about the business you want me to join with you? I don't even see the need to join. You are about to provoke me again, love it. I will leave this place and don't call me again until you have something reasonable to say. Oh yeah, wait, I was only joking. I thought about what we discussed last time. I want to tell you that I've made up my mind to join you. Really? I know you are pulling my legs. Of course not. I am very serious. Don't you think I need money as well? Do you think I don't want to have soft life like you? That is good. This is actually the first time you have said something better. Are you really sure about this? Yes, I am very sure. All I want to know is someone to guide me. I don't really know where to start from. So, usually, we stand on the highway and wait for a man that to come carry us at night. But I have graduated from that position. I get calls from hotels to serve clients. Okay. Don't worry, I will guide you and direct you on who to start with. Don't worry, you will make home money. I can't wait. You are welcome, Matthew. I feel so honored to have you in my house today. Thank you so much, Ma, for this special treatment. I just decided to go around all the members' house to check on them one after the other. That is wonderful. You know this is actually the first time I have you in my house. That is why I feel so happy. Really? I've been here about two or three times, although you were not at home those times I came. And Faith never mentioned it to me. That girl is something else. I'm sure she forgot to mention it to you. So how are you doing, ma? And where is Faith? I sent her on an errand. She won't be back anytime from now. Do you want to drop a message for her? Not really. Apart from to remind her that the dry fasting will begin tomorrow. You mean the one for the choric stars? She sings about it all the time. There is no way she would forget such thing because she has been waiting for it. I must confess ma, you did a great job raising your daughter. I'm happy people like the both of you still exist. People that love God wholeheartedly. Thank you Matthew. I have no regrets in having her. She's the only one that consoles me ever since her father died. Sorry about that. Let me get you something to drink. We are telling me now, we know I cannot guess whatever the good news is, and I don't like the suspense. <laughs> You're not even fun. Well, I want to tell you that I have a client for you. 
kind of clients and for what? I can't remember starting a business and searching for a client. Are you kidding me? Have you forgotten our discussion the last time? You told me you were ready to join my line of business. And you took it to heart. And what do you mean by that? Have you changed your mind already? We talked about this before. Please, don't even try to get me annoyed this evening. Calm down now. See, I know you really want me to work for my money, but I don't think selling my body for money is the right thing to do. Okay. Just okay. I will give you an option, love it. It is either you sell your body for money, or you pack your things and leave my house. After all, you wanted to go to the village. Come on now, it hasn't gotten to that. It's even past it. Why are you making this thing a big deal? So, me that is selling my body, I don't have sense, Abby. It's either you do it, or you pack your things and leave. Fine, I'll do it. Give me the person's details. Good. Mr. Bell, where have you been? I have been here like twice. Cassandra told me you went out. Exactly. Maybe if you had told me you were coming over, I would have stayed home to see you. Are you serious? I am sure you haven't forgotten the promise you made to me about coming to church with me. <laughs> Faith, didn't I tell you not to take Christabel serious? I knew there was no way she would go with you to church. But that was not fair, Christabel. You should have at least called to inform me you wouldn't be coming. I was busy. I didn't know I would not make it to church that day. I called you like twice, but you refused to pick up. I hope you will not disappoint me again this time around. When do we have the midweek service again? There will be no midweek service this week because the choristers are on seven days dry fasting, starting from today. So you mean you want Christabel to join you guys? Is there anything wrong with that? But she's not a chorister. She's just a normal church goer. My mom is not a chorister, but she is also on fasting. I don't think it is a big deal for the both of you to join. Even if it is this once for the whole year, it will help a lot to strengthen your relationship with God. Interesting. Christabel, you better don't lie to her again that you will join her. Just tell her the truth now. Fine. Faith, see, I don't have such strength to go on a fasting for seven days. I will just die halfway. So, Faith, you mean to say for seven days, you guys will not eat nor drink? There is a specific time for break, and that is six in the evening. That is the only time we will all eat. Then we resume till the next day. Can we please say something else instead of always talking about church? Matthew, what's wrong with you? You're not supposed to think about her. You both hold a position in church. To be a shameful thing to go into a relationship with her. I just wish I can stop thinking about you, Faith. I'm in love with you. I can't remember the last time I felt this way for the opposite gender. What do I do now? I'm really confused if I should tell her about my feelings. But what if she says no and decides to disgrace me in church? Where will I keep my shameful face? Will I still be respected the way I am now? I just wish I can kill these feelings. Faith is a devoted Christian. I don't know how she would take this. I just have to try my luck. After all, so many men of God are married already. I will get married someday. Marriage is not a taboo. I have to tell Faith my feelings. Who knows, she might be in love with me too. Judith, I am ready to go. Aww, you look so beautiful. I can imagine the look on his face when he sees you. You are the exact description of the type of woman he wants to spend the night with. I'll see you when I return. Come on now, why is your face like this? You should be happy to do this thing. It is fun and I gave you the best of my clients. Why should I be happy that I'm going to sleep with someone I don't even know? You have no idea how scared I am. Nothing will happen to you, dear. Trust me. I've been doing this thing for years. You don't have to be scared. What if he uses me for money ritual? I am scared because I have heard so many stories about men using prostitutes for money ritual. To make yourself happy, maybe you should not refer to yourself as a prostitute. And secondly, I have the man content on my phone. I know where he will take you to. It still doesn't guarantee my safety. But since you say you know the man very well, then I have to start going. Please, try your best to make him happy. I don't want any complaint from him. He will be the first client to lay with you. So make him happy. How much will he even pay me after spending the night with him? He pays really well. The last time I was with him, he gave me 20,000 naira. I am sure he will pay you well, since this is your first time. Okay then, I'll see you later. Take care. Ima, you should not have brought me to this place. You told me you wanted to see me at your office. What is the difference between this place and my office? I don't like this place. People might see us and get the wrong idea about us. I just want to go back home. Relax, Faith. Why are you always panicking? What's wrong if people see you with a man? It's not like you're doing anything offensive. I know. By the way, you said you have something to discuss with me. What is it? The way you're always scared of being with me in the public has discouraged me from saying what I want to say. Okay then, let's forget about what you wanted to say. I would like to head back home now. I am sure my mother will be waiting for my return. Wait, okay fine. I want to tell you that I am in love with you, Faith. I am sure you love me too. I have buckled up my feelings for a long time now. I feel it is the right time for me to tell you. 
Really? Yes, Faith. You should know I am in love with you. We have been friends for a long time. Please give me a chance in your life. Trust me, you will not regret it. Thank you so much for loving me, Ma. But unfortunately, I don't feel the same way. I really like you as a friend, but not enough to be in a relationship with you. You're just saying this without thinking. How about you think about it first? I'm sorry, I don't feel the same way. Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, such a long period to pray. I waited outside for about 30 minutes for you to be done. I am glad you are finally done. You are welcome, Christabel. I didn't know you were waiting outside. Why didn't you come in? I didn't want to distract you from praying. I know how much you value your prayer sessions. You should have joined me. I know the reason why you stayed outside was to avoid joining me in prayers. You are welcome anyway. Thank you. You know, I actually swore never to come back to your house again because of how you treated me. But I can't just help staying away from you. I'm sorry for whatever I might have done wrong, knowing or knowingly. I'm human. I'm bound to make mistakes. It's okay. You've already been forgiven, even before I came here. So how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I can see you are doing great as well. Yes, I am. Especially now that I have seen you. So what did you eat today? How about I rush to the market to make you lunch? I'm sorry, but I'm on a 7 days dry fasting. I wanna marry you. Up, Joe. You want to tell me you did not have fun all through the night? <laughs> Stop frowning, Joe. You think this is funny, Abby? I told you I didn't want to go. You are really annoying to me with the way you are behaving. Are you a child? Even a child will know that this is the only means to fast money. I wasn't comfortable all through the night. I was really scared something was going to happen to me. And the worst part of it, he collected my phone. I am really sorry for the fear. That is how you do. He makes sure he collects your phone to be sure you are not recording the whole thing. Why would I do such a thing? I don't even know him from anywhere. It doesn't matter. He has to take your phone to be on a safe side. So many ladies record the intercourse they have with their clients. So they would blackmail the men. They deserve it after all. You have no idea how disgusted I was when he told me he's married with three children. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure you felt better when he placed this 30,000 on your palm. Let me draw. Gradually, you'll be used to it. Very soon, you will start sleeping with old men that are soon of your age. I'm really surprised to see you here, Johnson. I mean, you rarely come to my house. I hope everything is okay with you. Yes, everything is okay. I don't really have friends, so I decided to come and stay in your house for a while. I'll return home before night falls. You don't look happy. What's the problem with you? Did anything happen at home? Not at all. I'm only trying to avoid the temptation in my house. There is this lady that visits me all the time. I don't really know what she wants. She didn't tell you what she wants. Not at all, but today is different. She behaved in a strange way, probably trying to seduce me. I told her to stop, but she didn't listen. So, I decided to leave the house for her. I don't know why ladies of nowadays are like this. Is she a member of our church? Yes, she's a member of our church, and you know her. But I will not disclose who she is. It's okay. You just have to be very careful. Do not fall into temptation, especially now that we are fasting. So, how are you holding up? Bro, it's not easy, but we have to do it for God. You mean Ima finally opened up about the fact that he wants to be with you? Yes, he did. I was not really shocked. I mean, I expected it long ago. I knew all those gifts he brought to us were not really for free. You are right. I tried as much as possible to say no to him, but he kept bringing more gifts. That was one reason why I said you shouldn't have accepted anything he brings to this house again because I don't want us to be indebted to him. So what was your response to him? You really don't want to be with him? I don't feel anything for him. I don't love him. Ima is a wonderful person and I like him, but I don't like him to the point of being in a relationship with him. It's okay, my dear. It is good you know what you want. Wherever is too far to make that mistake, please just take your time. After all, you are still young. Yes, mom. So Matthew did not really say anything to you when he came the last time. No, he didn't. I already told you. He first came to say hi to me. The second time he came was to see you, but you went out with Ima. You should have told him to wait for me now. You can go see him later. I think what he wants to say is important. Okay, mom. I wanna marry you. Give up on that guy. I wonder what you're still doing thinking about him. He's not even worth it. I won't say that I'm thinking about him. So someone cannot be quiet for once. I am not thinking about anybody. You are not thinking about anybody. But ever since you came back from this house, you have been moody and quiet. What did he even say to yourself? He didn't say anything. Come on, talk to me. Mm, you know you can't hide anything from me. And to feel a bit relieved, you need someone to talk to. So you can judge me, Abby? 
so you can start telling me to give up on him. You better leave me alone. Why wouldn't I tell you to leave me alone? Why would you be with someone that doesn't want you? Besides, last time you told me you would never visit me again. Yes, I know what I said. Do you think it is easy to stay away from the man you love? I love Johnson. I badly want to stay away from him, but I can't. I don't just like the way he treats you. He should be the one to chase you and not the other way around. Johnson is a dedicated child of God. You know he will never ask me out. All he wants is for me to be dedicated in God's work. What do you mean he will never chase you? Won't he eventually get married? Is he going to remain single for the rest of his life? Cassandra, I have no idea. You better forget about all this thing you're doing. The more you chase him, the more he rejects you. Or just tell him how you feel. You think it will work? I don't know. Just try. You're welcome, Ima. It's been almost a week I saw you, compared to how you visit us in the past. Yes, ma. Recently, we have got a lot of work to do at the company. I barely have time for myself. Today is my day off, so I decided to come see you. You have done very well, my dear. I hope you like all the gifts I got for you. Um, about that, Ima. I think it is high time you stop giving us gifts. I really appreciate your good guest job, but we are no longer comfortable getting gifts from you. But why? Have I done anything wrong? No, my son. You have not done anything wrong. In fact, you are a very wonderful person. And I am really glad to have you as a family friend. So, what is the problem? I got those gifts just to make you and Faith happy. It will hurt me badly if you reject them. I am really sorry, but I have to reject them. You have done so much for us already. Thank you so much, and sorry for rejecting them. I am sure you must have heard I asked Faith out. Yes, my, it is true. I love your daughter so much, and I want to marry her. Yes, she told me about it. She made it clear that she loves you as a friend, and she values your friendship, but she can't give you what you are asking for. Why not? You should discuss it with her. As for the gifts, please take them back. My mom told me you have been coming to say hi to her. I am just wondering why you always come when I am not around. Some questions I asked her when I came the last time. By the way, you look amazing today. Thank you, but I'm at you. So you said you have something important to discuss with me. Uh-huh. Yes, I do. But you are not in a hurry to go. Why not have some rest? It is not easy to come see me under the sun. No, don't bother. I already told you I'll do anything, especially when it involves God. I don't mind coming under the rain. How are you holding up with the fasting? I hope it's not really affecting you. Not really. This is something we always do, so I am used to it. I saw Brother Johnson on my way coming here. Did he come to see you? Yes. Nowadays, Brother Johnson spends most of his time here. He said there is a particular girl that disturbs him a whole lot, so he's only trying to avoid her. Hmm. Okay. I have a lot of things to do at home, Brother Matthew. So what is this you want to discuss with me? Come off it. Why are you in such a hurry? Calm down. I would like you to join me in prayer today. That is not a problem. You can come over to my house. My mom will be delighted to have you pray with us. Actually, I want us to pray in my house. No, but I'm at you. I can't do that. I'll be more comfortable praying in my house. So, if you want to join us, you are free to come. Okay, let me get you something to drink. I hope it is not alcohol. No, it's not. It's a fruit juice. You will like it. So, love it. Get ready, I have another client for you this night. He called me this afternoon to request for a complaint tonight. Really? Well, I'm tired. I just came back from the one I went to last night. I need some rest. What do you mean you need some rest? Do you mean to tell me you are not having fun with those men? How will I have fun with them? Do you think I am enjoying the kind of job you are giving to me? What is fun about selling my body for money? Madam, if you don't want to do it, then forget about it. Don't stress me. What is your problem, Seth? I already told you this is the only way to make money. I am not saying I don't want to do it. I just want to know if there is a way I can go see him tomorrow. I am already tired. There is no way, love it. We cannot keep him waiting. He is ready to pay 20,000 naira for you to keep him company. Such amount of money will go a long way in your life. Hmm. I don't even have what to wear. You know I don't have all those revealing clothes you always wear. The last person I met last time complained about my dressing. As if I didn't have this conversation with you. I told you to use part of the money you were paid to get some clothes, but you refused. How about you lend me one of your dresses? I promise to go for shopping when I return tomorrow morning. No problem about that. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, Cassandra. It's been a long time I saw you. Where have you been? I have been around, Ma. I have been asking Faith about you. I am glad to see you in good health. So you are still around, but I haven't been seeing you in church services. I thought you traveled. 
no ma i didn't travel please it's fate at home she complained that i don't visit so i decided to pay you both a visit today that is nice of you have a seat thank you ma so where is fate i sent her to deliver a message to my friend she won't be back any moment from now even if she decides to wait she will take hours before she returns okay ma i'll be on my way then Cassandra, dear, I hope you are participating in this seven days fasting. It's been a long time I saw you in the church. The fasting is only for choristers. I am not a chorister, but I also participate. You don't have to be a chorister before you participate in the things of the Lord. Okay, ma. You are really backsliding, and I think it will affect your relationship with faith, because I want people that can influence her in a good way. I am not a bad influence to your daughter. Only because she chose not to be influenced in a bad way. I would like you to always come around so we can pray together and draw you closer to God. Thank you, ma. I have to take my leave now.